Hey everybody, I am starting a new video series called the Semi-Complete Guide to Pi QT6. I've got a, a repository here that is the companion repository to go with my video. And in this very first one, I just want to talk about getting set up and how this is going to work. I would like you to be able to get a, uh, just ignore this message at the top, act like it's nothing there. Um, but basically we have uh, two branches on my GitHub repo. And uh, what I'd show you today is how to create a fork of this project, how to get it set up and how to test it out and then how to work through. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be covering as many PyQt6 widgets and layouts as I can. I do this, uh, a lot of my students are working on this right now. They have a lot of questions. Um, they all wanna try different widgets and different layouts. And I just need a huge repository of different kinds of projects. So for the video series, I've got two main branches. One is main and that's gonna have starter code. And the other is solutions, which will have the solution to a challenge I give at the end of each video. Now, the real challenge, I guess, for this first video is can you get a copy of my guide to PyQt6? My recommendation is that you create a clone of my project. By having a clone, you have the ability to get updates because I'm going to be changing this as we go as I'm continuing to create more videos. Let me explain the folder structure here. Um, for now, you can just ignore the test file, but on the guide to PyQt6, currently I have a folder for layouts and I have an app starter uh, file. And the app starter here is just getting started. This is good if you wanna just grab this and use it for a project. It's got all the beginning code you could want, and then you could just customize this. So if all else fails, you could just grab the code from here and just start working on your own project, trying it out. In layouts for the first official video, I'll be talking about the VBox layout, adding a few items. And then in further video series, I'll be going widget by widget, talking about what you can do. So to get started, let's talk about getting a copy of this project and working through it. Okay, so from here, I recommend you get a clone. And uh, for now, anyway, the clone is the best way because I'm still working on this project and adding pieces to it. So I want you to go ahead and create a clone of it. Um, in the future, I'll let you know when all of this is complete and I'll make sure it's, it's on there. And then you can just do it by using it as the template. But for now, I'm gonna walk you through just getting a clone, which will allow you to get the updates. So I'm gonna click on the code button here and I wanna make sure I'm under local clone and clone just means a copy, right? So we're gonna clone this project onto our own computer. So once you get this, you wanna go ahead and find a folder where you're gonna put your project. I already have it here. So let me just go ahead and get out of there. I'm actually gonna delete that and start that one over. Okay, I deleted it. So here's what you do. Uh, once you have Git, you just right click and you're gonna to wanna to use Git Bash. If you don't have Git, you're gonna to need to get that installed. It is free software and it is good. And so you're gonna just type Git spell it correctly, G-I-T, clone. And then you're going to right click and paste. So get that address that you copied with that copy button, click in here, clones into. And now you have, if you go back to the folder, you will now see the folder for guide to PyQt6. And there is a workspace. You can just double click on the workspace. And as long as you have Visual Studio Code installed on your system, it will open up in a window kind of like this. If you don't have Visual Studio Code, make sure you install it before you try double clicking on that workspace file. Here's what I recommend you do to get started. My um, README file has all of this, but I recommend you get terminal open, you do a new terminal and you run the following code. You want to type if you're using poetry. If not, you're going to have to import all of the imports using pip env or however you like to import your files. Uh, okay, so poetry add or poetry um, shell, All right? Creates a virtual environment and then poetry uh, update, I recommend. And this will grab if there's anything new. Well, the first time it actually installs everything by updating. 
So, and then you want to do update on a regular basis. Make sure you have the latest version. I'll model that as I go. Now, from here, you see that it says guide to PyQt6. It's running poetry. If you're doing the poetry commands, make sure you have the Python extension installed. Click on view, command palette. And then you want to select the Python interpreter. You may have to type out Python select interpreter to get it. And you're looking for the poetry. There it is, guide to blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to click it. And now what you want to do is you want to open up App Starter and just click run and see if it runs. If you've got this, you're good to go. Okay, everybody, I want to talk about Git and branching. That's going to be one of the things that will be helpful for you to do as you work through these tutorials. So one of the things is I'm not done with my GitHub repository. I'm going to be just doing one piece at a time. Um, so by the time you see a video and it's a tutorial, if I've just released it, that means then I have all the code to, for you to start the tutorial and I will have what's called a solution for that particular project. So let's take a look at my GitHub repository. And so if you look over here, um, there is a main branch and there is a solutions branch. Once I am done doing a tutorial, I will post an update to the solutions. So the solutions will have updates of all of the solutions to the various tutorials that I go through on the t uh, on this YouTube series. So you can then, what you can do is you can click here and you can click on the solutions and then you can go see um, what the solution to that particular project was. You'll have access to the code that you could take, modify, do whatever. Um, and so it'll be on there. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the main branch. So what I recommend you do is you'll start with the main branch. That's what you get when you start. And then my recommendation is you create a branch for learning. So you're in order to create a new branch to learn on, you're just going to type git branch. Um, sorry, not git branch. You're going to do git checkout. And you're going to put a dash B. And then I recommend you call it learning. And this will be your own personal branch for learning the tutorial. And then you can work on your project. And um, then once you're done, you can then see what the solution is for it. You can make any modifications if you like. And then on future tutorials, each time I do a tutorial, I'm going to model this. You're going to want to go back to the main branch, pull in any new changes in case I've posted anything new. You'll get up to date code. Then you will go, you'll check out your learning and then you will start working on the learning branch by bringing in any changes. I'll show you what that looks like and we'll do that on the tutorial as we go forward. So on the next tutorial, what you're, we're gonna work on is we're gonna work on just a very basic app that you are going to do for your project. It's gonna be under widgets, basic app. Stay tuned for that. That should be posted real soon after I do this intro tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.